Hoosiers are the number two team in the country, led by their left back, Andrew Koopman. And in go Trey Muse, both potential Mac Herman Trophy winners. They'll face one of their own in John Trask and the Wisconsin Badgers next on BTN. Our conference play against the number two T country, the Indiana Hoosiers. And hello, everybody. I'm Dean Linky. Delighted to be with Chris Dorn. And Chris, here we go. A rematch of last year's Big Ten tournament championship game. And it's the game that Wisconsin won in that rainy November afternoon in Indiana. But we're in a whole different phase for Wisconsin soccer. Uh, half of that roster went away, and so now John Trask has to do some rebuilding and some retooling. Other side of the ball, Indiana, very different story. They went all the way to the championship game of the NCAA tournament. They come back for 2018. They have more than 80% of their scoring prowess from last year, and they've got seven seniors who have a wealth of experience when it comes to shutting out opponents. It should be a good one this afternoon. One of those seniors, arguably the best left back in the country. Andrew Goodman has been phenomenal. He gets behind the defense when he goes into that overlapping mode, and he dribbles through defenders, too. So this is a really important guy to watch if you're a Wisconsin defender. He's got three goals and one assist on the season. Someone's got to hold Wisconsin together. Pipes for Coach Trask over on the Indiana side of things. We've got eight players you probably recognize from the starting lineups of the tournament run last year. And I'm talking about the NCAA tournament. And we've talked about the success of Gutman, especially when it comes to scoring goals. But the guy behind him gives him all sorts of confidence. And that's goalkeeper Trey Muse. Trey has done a wonderful job. He had those 18 shutouts last year. Off to a good start with a couple of shutouts this year. All right, here we go. Part of a double header here to the team. Could be right back in the College Cup final again. Pretty easily, I think. Uh, they're going to do it with the same approach they had last year. And they've got more experience under their belts. And they've got healthy players, too. A couple of players that we didn't see at the start of last year because of injury. And here's one now, Jeremiah Gutjar, Number 17 in that midfielder's role where he's so good at connecting the dots. Buckmaster has pushed forward. You always see this man pushing forward, Gutman. Gutman, let's see if he can. Looks like he got a little shove there. And, huh. They're going to actually give it back to Wisconsin. He certainly understands how that ball crosses the line in its entirety. Opponents every single match. And so keeping the pace, controlling the rhythm, really important for the guys in white this afternoon. Here's Thomas. He's not been 100% healthy this year. He'll cut it back to his right foot. Takes a shot. Oh, my. Corey Thomas sneaking one in. And the Indiana Hoosiers off to a tremendous start. Well, this is just build up, build up through the midfield, and now you're about 30 yards out, and Wisconsin's defense has dropped considerably. Nice ball to Corey Thomas, puts it on his left foot and then cuts it back, gets around that last defender, and tucks it inside the inside post. Boy, oh boy, that's nifty, and it's awfully patient. There were questions about whether Thomas was going to even be available today. He's got some dings, and, and Coach was concerned about his health, but he's in the starting 11, and early on in this one, he puts the Hoosiers up. Well, you think about all of the stars last year, including Grant Lillard and Mason Toy. It was really the emergence of Thomas, though, that pushed this team to a different level and right back to that College Cup final. And he's been so banged up this year. Todd Yegley said if he gets going, look out and what a goal. Free kick opportunity here for Wisconsin as they'll try to equalize quickly. Ball on the 18. There he is. He's got that sparkle in his eye. It's so much fun to spend time with him. He loves the game, eats up the game, studies the game, and he's a big-time player. If he's not first-team All-America, I'm just not sure who is. I agree with you, and you mentioned earlier that he's also been added to the watch list for the Mac Herman Trophy. Renning starting to get more comfortable with that number nine. That was a big issue. Mason Camp, but you've also got Rennix now at that point injured, not available for seven to ten games. And so Troy was able to kind of put his mark on the position. And there is Rennix turning quickly. Go ahead, Chris. So so Rennix had to kind of work his way back into the lineup. We saw more time from him as the season wore on. Rennix does a nice job in this scenario where he receives it on the outside foot and turns, settles the ball, and takes that crack. It was up for the moment in that 
shootout back in November. So Indiana's being really patient. And again, Wisconsin is being patient too. I, Coach Trask said on the phone to us this week, he said, look, you give up a goal to Indiana, you're playing them down one. Look at Goopman making this run. That's your left back, folks, near the end line. And Chris, he just looks like he's never, ever winded either. But that's your left back right there at the end line. And he does a really great job of picking his moments to get forward. I think there's some concern that at times maybe he wants to get forward a little too much. But look at this diagonal run looping around, and he knows absolutely where that ball's going to go in the space behind the defense, exploiting that space with a dynamic run. Corey Thomas, part of this senior-laden Indiana Hoosier team with an early goal, and it's 1-0 Indiana. It was a good goal, really great step. As he settles this ball, Corey Thomas does a really nice job of sneaking it around the defense. Super-duper cut there, and he may have even nicked a little bit of post on that way in. Maybe not, but it was it was good enough. And, in, you know, you go down in the fifth minute, and you're chasing the game right away, although Wisconsin and Coach Trask talked about how you go down a goal and you're playing in the hole for a little bit. It's it's not that big a deal. You embrace it. And it seemed like Corey Thomas really did embrace it. Gootman, he'll stay with it. Now watch Gootman, see what he can do here. He's not afraid to do a little nutmeg if he needs to. Good pass, gets it back to Gugyar and... Gugar probably needs to slant that back just a little bit more, Chris Doran. I actually watched a training session last year where Gutyar was in that position where he was focusing on whipping that ball in just a bit harder. And yeah, he was he was targeting the right spot. Ball gets nicked by the defender, but targeting the right spot. But whipping that ball out to the six away from the goalkeeper's opportunity to uh, to smother it. The defender saving the day was, in fact, Noah Leibold, who was going to have to be everywhere. That's part of the reason why you picked him out to start the game. Yeah, and that holding midfielder role, and especially since he's got the experience, he's got to be keeping everyone organized. And, and the defensive line behind him will grow in their confidence with him as they accept his direction and understand exactly how he's keeping everyone connected. But, you know, Robin Olufsen back there has got great size, 6'3", 190. He's got great experience as well. Northwestern team, Tim Lenahan has the Wildcats back on the rise. They lost that game, kind of a fluke goal for Maryland, but it's good to see Northwestern back in the hunt. I actually, uh, <laughs> I actually saw several videos from the Northwestern Wildcats sports marketing department where Tim Lenahan is smiling and I thought what's going on in uh, in Evanston and he's he does he's got he's got that machine working and it's great it is great to see so during that water break we can tell you Frankie Moore was getting treated meanwhile Wisconsin coming out of that water break Muse with a big save Huge near the near post. Wisconsin was in. Mitch Guitar, one of the returnees, so close to making it 1-1. One -one. Stuff about him. We heard about him before he even started playing here at Wisconsin because Coach Trask was so excited that he was an incoming student athlete. Coming out of that water break, there's been some changes as well. A.J. Palazzolo has come in for Indiana. There's Koopman. <laughs> Look at Koopman. That's your left back. He's basically playing center forward at the moment. Coach Trask says that every time Alex Alfaro gets the ball, you never know what's going to happen. So he tries to bridge the Indiana defender, but works hard to get back to this ball, then threads it through to Guitar, who on the dribble beats his own defender and gets that shot off. Good work by Trey Muse tracking that ball. The Indiana defense collapsing with very little time to spare. Look at Mayer, pretty clean. He's got a lot of composure on the ball. Trevor Schwartz. Gutman dancing, shedding players. Andrew Gutman down near the end line, set across, corner kick, Indiana. It's like playing with a second outside midfielder. Unbelievable as Trevor Schwartz lays this ball off. Gutman has already identified the space in and behind. He turns and makes the move. He's got one more defender to beat, and boy, this ball's whipped across. If 
it's not cleared out quickly by Klansnick. Now, in basketball, they call that breaking ankles right now, and everybody would be laying on the floor as he left Alfaro in the dust, breaking his ankles with a soccer ball at his feet. Here's Swartz with that left foot near post, bouncing in front. Frankie Moore, little nifty play. Of course, we saw Frankie Moore score a screamer against Ohio State last year in the semifinals of the Big Ten tournament. Good sequence. No one can get a clean look at this ball, but Frankie Moore on the far post. And the flick in by Mayer isn't enough. Reddix. There's Goofman who will flick it back. So I feel like you've got to go to maybe look at the Brazil full national team to see a team that allows their left back to do whatever they want. I'm talking whatever he wants to do, he can do. He's still up front. Folks, right now, there he is, just on top of the 18. And there is no one covering for him. So now he's going to work his way. He's thinking about heading back there. I'll take, take my time. <laughs> he knows he's he's sniffing out the game at the top of the box. Spencer Glass has come in. He's going to play on the outside a little bit. Glass is a favorite of Coach Todd Yeagley's when he gets him in the game off the bench. He spices things up when he's out there. Dynamic, very, very wide. And probably one of Indiana's best servers of the ball. So it looks like Glass has settled into the outside left back slot. And that's why Gutman has pushed forward. They've really liked what they've seen out of Glass this year. Of course, Chris, you've been around the Indiana program so long. You know the history of the Godfather. And, and if you remember Jerry Yeagley, even last year, talking about, man, I really like Spencer Glass and what he can do, his versatility. And they can play him anywhere. And that's what they're going to do now. You know, when you, you're in a situation where... You may lose one of the best left backs in the country to graduation number one and then you know an opportunity to advance his career professionally uh, at the end of this year you got to be able to fill that role shut out king for indiana part of our state farm state of success he's uh left he's picked up where he left off last year essentially hasn't he i mean he's just tremendous back there great defensive awareness understanding where his players need to be look he gets really well protected i mean you talk about spending your freshman year with grant lillard in front of you you've got some good protection right uh, andrew gutman so good timmy mill so good reese buckmaster so good but on his own when he's making saves when he has to make saves trey muse is phenomenal timmy mill Great ball dropped into the 18. The keeper is out. It goes across, cleared at the line. A great save coming back just in the nick of time for Wisconsin. Saved off the line by Klansnick. Klansnick does a really nice job here. The run back on the recovery. That ball does not cross the goal line. And he keeps this, he keeps this game close. Here's Swartz. Swartz. Last quick throw in. Swartz. Newman push from behind. See if they'll come back to it, and they will. That's a great observation, Dean, and this will be a set piece opportunity for Indiana. is unpredictable especially off the ball and I can imagine for defenders it becomes a full work day trying to track Gutman on his runs so here's Trevor Swartz left hand in the air left foot ready and that's going to go in. Gutman is lurking there. We'll see who they'll give it credit to. Indiana, 2 nothing. It may have already been in the goal with Gutman crashing in. Gutman certainly with his hand in the air. 2 nothing. Indiana. 
Well, this is a great service from Trevor Swartz. It's so unpredictable for the goalkeeper. And then to have to compete with the bodies, Gutman puts the insurance move on it with a second dive towards the crossbar and keeps that ball headed toward the goal. I think that's going to be a Gutman goal. Yeah, indeed. The goal will go to Gutman. The assist coming from Timmy Mel, who was big and able to beat the smaller goalkeeper, Caldroy. Meanwhile, Gutman, four goals to lead the Hoosiers. And again, that coming from that left back spot, an outstanding senior campaign for number 15. I want to suggest something that, that you know, since we've seen Gutman playing a little higher and, and uh, the addition in the back with Spencer Glass, it's entirely possible that Coach Yeagley is giving Gutman the chance to demonstrate what he would look like as a left midfielder, not a left back. Because the next level may not hold a left back spot for him. It may actually be a midfielder's role for him. It's off the ball and how committed he is in the final third. There is Glass who has slid in behind him, as Chris Torn just pointed out, giving Gutman even more freedom to do whatever he wants, including scoring the second goal here. It's 2 nothing, Indiana. Good shot. Nothing. minutes remaining Thomas and Gutman with the goals for the Hoosiers Rudy trips but there's there's so much talent in that entire region uh, and he's done such a wonderful job over the years to really keep his finger on the the up-and-coming players and you know who who qualify you have to qualify for a Wisconsin education you, it's not just something you can come up and expect to have come to you. Glass knocked out of bounds to be a corner kick for Indiana. you got to be a good student, right, to get to any one of these universities. But Coach Trask has been very, very big on that message as well. Nothing who his shirt. John Trask, let's see if he's got an answer. It's two nothing Hoosiers from Madison. Stay with us. Soccer. And it was one thing that Brian and Deanna Masonoff promised each other as they moved from Columbus uh, the last time, as they said, you know, if we ever have the chance to come back to Columbus, we're going to come back. And, and this was the opportunity to go back to Ohio State. Gugliar. Palazzalo has stayed in, stayed in the game at number nine spot. Dorsey. Now Buckmaster. Good little Paul Thomas over to Palazzalo. And the save there to Caldroy. Buckmaster was involved in that attack as well. Boy, this is terrific in the buildup. They actually suck out the Wisconsin defenders from the middle, and that leaves some space. Terrific run inside by Palazzolo, and the combination play on this near side attracts the attention of the defenders. A nifty ball from Thomas, and Palazzolo gets this ball off his foot, but Caldroy does a nice job of keeping his feet, making his hands do the work, stays behind the ball, and snuffs that one out. I'm sure he's playing it safe as a freshman, but he's got a lot of confidence when it comes to the big ball through the lines of uh, pressure as well as in possession on the dribble. Palazzolo will lose it. Delhi. Final pass here, back across Muse. Wisconsin, a sitter still loose. Oh my, Wisconsin so close. Sprague was there as well. Muse came up with a big save. Well, it's a big break for Indiana. Akindeli starts this thing off. He takes the ball from Palazzolo at midfield. Now he's got some targets working with him. Big ball way outside. Alfaro gets the first shot. Second shot by Sprague. And the save by Muse. This is great work. Wisconsin's got numbers in the box, and they've got Indiana chasing the game in that moment, and that's unusual from what we've seen so far, but it's got to give them the confidence they need. So in two seasons and the six games they've played this season, 
They've got 32 shutouts. It's been hard to score against the Hoosiers the last couple of years. Incredible. And they, as we have been talking about, they returned nine starters from last year's team that went 18-1-6. and six. That won the double overtime, a loss to Stanford in the final game of the season. Dorsey's got Poncho on one side. Dorsey feeling it. Can he turn? No, he's going to drop it off. Good ball across. Still loose. Indiana trying to turn. Push from behind. And just a little bit too late to at that time was Poncho. Swartz. Dorsey again. Glass. Now here's Dorsey, and he's tripped. And now be a free kick ball from Tim Mell. And there's, there's Dorsey on his own. He's got space. Defenders are dropping off. And now Dorsey has to come up with an idea. Does a great job of laying that ball outside. The cross ball leaves it open for Pancho. Terrific save from Caldroy. A second chance not available as Wisconsin closes them down. Griffin Dorsey, really active. Gets this ball at the top of the 18, turns, and gets tripped up. The whistle on Yim, the opportunity for Indiana. This is also over there, but we're thinking it's going to be Mel. It is Mel! And side netting, though, so close as he lets it rip. Really good look with a nice solid wall from Wisconsin, but boy, Mel does a great job of getting that ball around the wall. Three goals a year ago. To go with one assist, he's got three goals and two assists in his career as a center back. Out of bounds, staying with Indiana. Dorsey will cross it. Gutman. Gutman has stayed at the left back. Glass has played in front of him, so he'll give it to Glass. Glass, first times. Is it deflected? No, he just missed it. It'll come back to Wisconsin. That's a wicked ball that's coming in from Spencer Glass. And we get to see his work in the midfield. Todd Yigley loves what he brings to the game. Chris Dorn for Indiana. Well, it came early for Indiana. Corey Thomas does a really nice job of receiving this ball and then cutting the defense and getting around the last defender with a looping ball inside the post. Really no chance there for Cowjoy as Thomas puts the visitors up 1-0. A couple of opportunities throughout the first half and then the restart where Indiana is so dangerous. Tim Mel gets the first touch. Goodman gets the final touch off the service from Swartz and the Hoosiers up two headed into the lot now. Todd Yegley directing traffic. That's Kevin Robeson. He's a fantastic player. Still gets out there and plays in training. Then Danny O'Rourke filling the shoes, as Brian Mazenoff told you earlier, going to Ohio State. Look at that five-match winning streak. They are starting to pummel teams as well, 12-1. to one. A lot of people may remember that Danny O'Rourke was on the bench probably... Uh, it's a better ball, right in the middle, still loose, and the Badgers have scored. You felt like one was coming, and they slipped one in, Patrick Gibb getting it done. Well, we talked about how earning that restart is the second best thing after a long throw. Patrick Yim throws his 5-9 frame into the mixer, he goes down, but then he gets back up and finishes. Outstanding work from the sophomore defender. And as you mentioned, Wisconsin was so settled with so many of their players. But this year, being called into action, does a great job today. Here's Glass. 
tries to leak all the way through. Doesn't get there. Let's take another look, and it was Leibold who got it started from the corner flag. Big service in. Yim makes the cutting run, stays middle, but he's kind of held off by Thomas. Thomas loses track of him as he drops to the ground, traps it with his chest, and gets back up and finishes the play. Haley's Michigan Wolverines won the Big Ten regular season, and they're having another good year. Schmidt. Off of the head of Glass. There's Koopman right back to Glass. Last stays with it. Wearing those green shoes. Good little ball to Gutman. Gutman kept alive. And Gutman earning a corner kick. Corner kick, Indiana. It's a nifty heel ball from Glass as Gutman makes the overlapping run, gets in and behind. Here's a terrific ball. He sees Gutman bringing the defender out, creating that space behind him. And Glass gets the ball to him off the heel. Dorsey. It's Klein. Now Swartz has Dorsey on the right. Dorsey will get it. Dorsey looking up. Schmidt making a run. Far post. Gubin! And the best left back in the country has made it 3-1. He's got a brace, five goals on the season. Wisconsin's defense did such a nice job of holding their line, but they had to back, back up as the pressure was coming. Watch how this play unfolds. Terrific work from Indiana. Trevor Schwartz. Off the bench, lays this into Griffin Dorsey. Now, Dorsey, look at the four defenders dropping. Dorsey doesn't have a target just yet. In fact, he does not have that middle target. He's got the far post target. Andrew Gutman comes in. It looked like he came in on a jet as quickly as he had transitioned into the attacking third. The assist from Dorsey, but we came on the air showing you number 15, and number 15 delivering the goods. And he is going to be, I believe, in St. Louis. He's going to be one of the finalists for that Mac Herman Trophy, where we've seen several Hoosiers over the years win that. He may not win it, but he's certainly going to be in the running for it. He's got to be in the conversation. That's absolutely true. Palazzolo. Starting left back leads your team in goals. Goal number four and five for Gutman. And that it's almost like he's just taking stock of his inventory. Gutman's at midfield in the circle, and he's getting ready to eyeball his opportunity. There's no one on him. No one's paying attention to him. Watch the defenders drop, and here's Griffin Dorsey with only one target at the six. That ball to the far post surprises everybody. See, that is a phenomenal look right there. Here's Poncho. Poncho still loose as they try to get their fourth goal. That's our BTN network crew reading cold right there. That's what we wanted. We wanted to know where he was, and they circled him, brought him home, and he scores that second goal. Indiana, six in a row. That's going to wrap it up from Madison, where the Indiana Hoosiers defeat the Wisconsin Badgers by a score of 3-1. to one. Coming up next, it's football in 60. For my stats man, Nick Pinto, my broadcast partner, Chris Doran, Glenn Hallis, and our entire crew, I'm Dean Linke saying so long from Madison. The Andrew Gutman Show, 3-1 Indiana.